Hi everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber Goodwin Art. And as you saw in the previous clip, the very prestigious Fluid Art Experience is returning back to its hometown in my hometown of Dallas, Texas, this September from the 27th through the 29th. And I have the esteemed honor of being a guest instructor and teaching two very awesome techniques at this event. I am so excited to share the Fluid Art Dot Fusion, which is this right here, and one of the classes that I will be teaching, along with the Dot Ocean Wave right here. So in this class, we will explore pointillism art and how to create a wave. Along with that, there are nine other very talented and amazing instructors that will be coming to teach. I will have their channels linked down below, as well as the website to go sign up for classes. Uh, it's fluidartexperience.com. Hurry up and get your tickets. They are on sale. So go and purchase them before they sell out. Again, guys, I'm super honored to be invited to teach at this event. So mark your calendars for September 27th through the 29th. And now let's go check out what we will do in today's video. In today's video, I wanted to discuss and kind of do an educational video about interference or pearlescent paints. Now, if y'all have noticed, a lot of artists such as Molly Artistry and Mark J. Ratcliffe Art have been utilizing the Amsterdam pearlescent paints in their paintings, and they are gorgeous. Now, Amsterdam pearlescent paints are the same as Golden Interference paints or any other interference uh, paint brand such as TriArt, DecoArt, and even pigments such as this little piggy pigment offer a wide variety of interference paints and pigments. Now, these paints and pigments appear to be white until they hit a darker base and actually have a different uh, shade when they are on a lighter base, depending on how the light hits them. So I wanted to do a comparison video between Amsterdam pearlescent paints and golden uh, acrylic interference paints. So without further ado, let's dig in to what are interference paints and what makes them so unique and why they appear to be white. All right, y'all, let's dig in deep as to why these colors appear to be white and what uh, colors both brands offer. So the reason why interference or pearlescent paints appear to be white is because each particle is covered in titanium dioxide, better known as titanium white. That is the reason why these colors appear to be white or the pigments, uh, interference pigments are white because they're coated with titanium dioxide. So here is... Um, Amsterdam pearlescent red that's in 120 ml tube and then here is Amsterdam pearlescent blue and then I have Amsterdam pearlescent violet I believe they come in the 250 ml tubes as well and they also have these 500 ml jars so that was pearlescent green followed by pearlescent yellow and then we have pearlescent white and golden acrylics does not have uh, interference yellow or white uh, and on the other hand we have golden interference paints and golden offers these paints in golden fluids uh, and golden heavy body and I believe they only go up to um, eight ounces in the fluid acrylics and then in the heavy body they only have two ounce uh, tubes and they uh, have uh, like golden interference orange which Amsterdam doesn't have orange and then there's interference red and here you have interference gold which is kind of like Amsterdam pearlescent yellow but it's a little bit more gold and then here is interference blue violet and then interference green in the golden fluids 
And these are four ounce bottles that I have. And then Golden also has these um, high shifting colors available that have the titanium dioxide um, covered over the particles, but they also have abalone shell mixed in these colors. So here is interference green blue. And because of the abalone shell, these shift to uh, green and blue. So that was violet and green. So it'll shift to violet and green. And then you have green and orange, which will have a green to orange shift. And these three colors only come in fluids. They are not offered in the heavy body. I also wanted y'all to know that the interference paints should not be confused with iridescent paints. Iridescent paints are covered with iron dioxide, which appears to be more metallic. So uh, the interference paints are covered in titanium dioxide. Now, Triart has interference paints, and they are covered in both titanium dioxide and iron dioxide so when they color shift they also tend to have a metallic shift to them as well so um, i'm interested to to try some of the tri art uh, interference paints as well um and i also wanted to show you because i did a swipe experiment but i wanted to show you on a dark base how both uh, brands appear different in solid colors. So here is Amsterdam. Look how much lighter and a little bit dull the colors are on this tile compared to the golden, which is right here, which is more vibrant, highly pigmented. So if you are doing um, or using these colors uh, besides doing a swipe or any other technique, then uh, like I did a marble on this one, then definitely I would choose golden because the colors are just way more vibrant than the Amsterdam. Uh, but still, the Amsterdam is pretty. It just totally depends on the look that you are going for. And I also made a chart comparing the colors on a dark base and a white base. So I wanted to talk to y'all about why do these colors appear um, much brighter on a dark base. The reason why is because on a white base, the light is reflecting off of the interference and pearlescent paints. But on a dark base, the light is being absorbed. The light frequency is being absorbed. So here you have a comparison. You have Amsterdam on um, the left and then Golden on the right. And then you can just see how much more pigmented the Golden uh, interference acrylics are compared to the Amsterdam. Now here are the colors that... Uh, the brands don't offer. So there's uh, the three colors that have the abalone shell that shift from green to violet to blue or to orange. Then you have interference orange that Amsterdam doesn't have. And then Amsterdam pearlescent white that golden doesn't have. So next I will show you guys how these paints look like when they are used in a regular um, fluid art acrylic technique. So I will be doing uh, the Molly artistry swipe technique. But yeah, the colors reflect on a light base for interference and pearlescent paints. And the colors are absorbed on a dark base. That is why you will see the colors more on a darker base and they show up because the light is being absorbed. And real quick, guys, here is my pouring medium. It is 70% U.S. Floetrol to 30% GAC 800, and it is mixed at a 3 to 1 ratio. I will have it listed down below in the description box. And y'all, here are all of my paints mixed up. Uh, I shared with you guys uh, how and what I mixed these with earlier. So my Golden Interference are in green cups, 
and my Amsterdam pearlescent paints are mixed in the blue cups and I have my popsicle sticks all labeled and I'm just using a simple Amsterdam titanium white base along with Amsterdam oxide black and um, I did not mix the uh, ultra shift golden paints like the um, the green violet and the orange green I, I didn't mix that uh, I didn't want to confuse y'all and I'm just going to use these uh, cheap 8x10 canvases I have them labeled as A for Amsterdam and G for golden because I didn't want to mix the two and I decided to do the swipe technique on here because I wanted to see the cell structure and the cell formation and the vibrancy of the colors once I swiped them with my Amsterdam Lamp Black Cell Activator. And that's the reason why I decided to do the, the swipe technique and it was inspired by Molly Artistry. I took her Swipe Smart Art course, which is amazing. So definitely check that out. I will have the link below and you can save $20 by using my code AMBER20. Um, and here I am. I'm just going to do simple puddles of all the colors and then swipe them with my palette knife with my Amsterdam lamp black. And uh, I will just continue to layer these on. I'm doing Amsterdam first, as I mentioned before, the Amsterdam pearlescent paints are in the blue cups. And just to do the swipe side by side, I found it really interesting to see the difference between the cells and the color vibrancy of both brands. I will let you guys enjoy the rest of the process. I will be back with a close up of the cells and, um, the intensity of the colors once they are swiped over the darker base so yeah guys just enjoy the rest of the process and i will be back And y'all, before I tilt these, I just want you guys to see the huge difference between the cells and the colors. So this is Amsterdam. See how vivid those colors are? They're not as intense, but check out golden. Check out those cells. Check out those colors. They are gorgeous. And next I will tilt. And y'all, I am ready to tilt these canvases. Um, I, I'm not really worried about them being perfect because these are just practice canvases. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna tilt the paint off. Um, and my paints, as I mentioned before, are mixed with 70% US Floetrol and 30% GAC 800, uh, mixed at a three to one ratio with paint. And Next, I'm going to tilt my golden uh, acrylic interference paint canvas and just look at the cell structure uh, on this painting compared to the Amsterdam. It is completely different. It's more defined, and I feel like they have better cell structure than Amsterdam. But it totally depends on the look that you are going for. If you want a more lacy, a more flowy look then definitely go with Amsterdam and next I will show you guys 
uh, how these paints look on a titanium white base. So here I have Amsterdam titanium white and I will be using my Triart titanium white cell activator. Again, I have my canvases labeled and I'll let y'all enjoy the rest of the process. Okay, before I tilt these, here is a close-up, and that was golden, and here are Amsterdam pearlescents, and you can already see the difference, a huge difference in the cell structure, and um, now I will tilt. So here I am tilting my Amsterdam uh, pearlescent paints. Uh, I feel like the cells came out way better with the titanium white cell activator on the golden interference paints. And the light is really reflecting off of them and showing their color as, as well. So I was really pleased with the golden um, interference paints on this one. And uh, just, just play around with these interference paints. Try them on an opaque base. Try them on a semi-transparent. I've done them on Prussian blue, which is a very transparent um, color. And they just have like just a very magical effect on different colored bases. So different, definitely play around with them. But I really like how these look on a white base. So I, I'll definitely be doing a video with a, a, a puddle swipe on a white base with these. And they also look really good on teal and ultramarine violet as well. And y'all, here is a close-up of the wet results of um, both Golden and Amsterdam. So here is Golden. Just look at how defined the cell structure is and just the vibrancy of the colors. You can see that violet, uh, red, and gold. And then there is um, Amsterdam. There's the pearlescent yellow. You can see some of the white mixed in. Then you have the pearlescent blue, violet, and green. Um, but I feel like the cell structure is way better on the golden interference um, paints. And here I have um, the interference and pearlescence on a white base. So again, the cell structure is totally different on the golden interference. And you can really see the, the reflection of the colors as well of the light um, reflecting off of them. And then you also have the Amsterdam, which has a lot more lacing compared to the golden interference. They both are really, really pretty. Again, play around with these. And um, next, I will be back with the dried results. Here are my dried non-varnished results. I did not varnish these. And I wanted you to see them how they look like dry without any like sealant on them. So this is my golden interference painting. Um, the cell structure is completely different from the Amsterdam. The cells are more defined, they are more bold, and uh, I did see some, a little bit of like rounder cells. I wouldn't say they were like pearl cells, but look, you can see the violet, the interference gold, red, orange, um, uh, and then blue and green. And then here is my Amsterdam pearlescent um, painting and the cell structure is a lot more different they're not as bold as golden and the colors are a little bit less um 
vibrant. So just depending on the look you're going for, uh, just use either or. And Amsterdam seems to be really great for beginners since they're pretty um, affordable and you can like play around with them. And here is my titanium white base. So you already see how the light is reflecting off of both paintings. So again, here's my golden interference. Just see how that light is reflecting off of the colors and see how it is giving a really intense reflection of all the colors. You see the green, the interference blue, the violet, the red, the gold, the orange. And I'm really happy with how golden reacted to the lighter base. And then here is my Amsterdam pearlescent painting. The cells are not as defined or not as bold as the golden. There is a lot more lacing. Again, totally goes on the look that you're going for. If you want more lacing, then definitely Amsterdam pearlescents are the way to go. And I just wanted to show you all the reflection um, of the light again on, on these paints. So play around with them. I'm definitely going to do these on a lighter base. Well, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gained some knowledge about interference or pearlescent paints. Now, I highly recommend the Amsterdam paints if you are a beginner. They are very cost effective and very, very affordable. Also, the uh, this little piggy pigments are pretty affordable as well if you want to play around with pigments and create your own paint. They have a wide variety of colors, so definitely check them out. My personal favorite overall were golden interference paints. They are highly pigmented. You don't need to use much. And also they offer fluid acrylic as well as the heavy body. And they also have more colors uh, available. But definitely if you're starting out, pick out a few colors such as interference violet, blue and green. Those are pretty popular and just play around with them and have tons of fun. Again, guys, thanks for joining me. Until the next video, stay safe and stay classy and stay awfully awesome. See you guys in the next one. Bye.